Hello again, uh, I'm back with another instalment, exciting instalment. You're all sat there with bated breath wondering what I'm going to be doing. Well, it's on dragonflies. Um, you might turn off now, but to be, bear with me. Um, it's quite interesting in how I get a dragonfly photograph. It's not a static photograph, I arrest in dragonfly. It's one in flight, which is where the difficulty um, is really. I say that, uh, I've called the video, it's not rocket science, it literally isn't rocket science, um, well it's not is it, because it's photography, uh, but we use that phrase don't we. Um, the technique I've got, you'll see it in the video, it's a standard technique taking lots of photographs as they're flying around towards you, across you, um, I'll refer to deleters and keepers. Deleters, as I say, are the ones out of focus, uh, off screen. You don't, you know, nothing on there. You know, you thought you think you've taken a photograph and it's not there. Um, as in the dragonfly's not there. So you delete those. And during an hour and a half, I took over a thousand digital photographs and I kept about fifteen. It's a great thing with digital photography. You can just delete them. Um, it fills your card up, but I'll explain in the video about uh, deleting them as you go along. So um, I. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I just want to thank Alicia and Dan at work. They've lent me the GoPro. Um, I'm rubbish at videography. Um, I need to sort out some of the sound issues as well. Um, you can hear background noise, vibration through the jetty I'm on, through the traveling camera, but you'll understand what I'm saying. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you pick something up um, and I'll maybe pop on during the video to explain bits and pieces. So enjoy. Hi again, um, this is another video I'm doing on some wildlife photography, uh, my technique. It is going to be on catching a dragonfly in flight. Um, it's down at a nature reserve in Dunnington called Haskar Nature Reserve. It's um, just opposite the sports club, the entrance. Uh, you head down the direction I'm going. Um, I'll take you through, it's only a small little reserve, uh, various bits and pieces there. Uh, but it's a nice place to chill out, so um, I'll give you uh, the rundown on how I do my photography very shortly. This is the entrance to the nature reserve as you drive from the 1079 Hull Road just before the sports club on the left. So we've got the entrance here um, just off the track down from the main road. Um, if we just take you down here I'll just show you the notice board, information board on what type of uh, wildlife there is here. And this is the board here, which I'll, uh, I'll get in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what's available to see here. I've never seen the Kingfisher, although we moved in 2003 and I've been told by the warden there was one here, so it's a shame. Hopefully they'll come back. Uh, the main thing we're getting today is hopefully this common hawk dragonfly there. This is the common hawk dragonfly and you see it's quite detailed and makes a good photograph. Um, there's usually a couple of them that flit around catching flies, fighting with each other and we're going to try and get some fairly close up in flight. A tricky thing to do, you take hundreds, sometimes thousands of photos and you might only have ten keepers. Um, but we'll give it a go, see how we get on. So information board there, as we um, go down towards the nature reserve here, um, it's fairly quiet, I've just been down. Um, you see I've got another stupid hat on, my wife hates me with a baseball cap bought this, it irritates me even more. The great thing is, reversible beige there, it makes me look ridiculous, but you can change the shape on it, make me look even more ridiculous. So uh, that's my hat for today, to keep the old uh, sun off, it's quite a nice day. Uh -huh. So just leading up here, I'll just turn around. There's the entrance there, um, you can hopefully see the jetty. Um, we've got a jetty down there, which is where I will do the photography from. So head down here, um, again, it's looking very peaceful and quiet, um, I'll just spin the camera around so you can see, uh, so it's a small nature reserve, nothing too, uh, too vast and big to get around, um, so let's go and have a look at the jetty, see what we've got. The camera I'm using is uh, my Lumix G9. I've got my macro 45mm lens on there. Um, I do it on aperture at priority and set that fairly low, um, normally to about 4 or 5. And then because you've got it on aperture priority, it will adjust your shutter speed depending on how bright it is. So uh, it's 
clear at the moment, sun's out, so it'll increase the shutter speed, which means it'll snap that image a lot quicker and get it clearer and sharper. If the sun goes in, it drops that shutter speed. Um, one thing you can't do is uh, automatic focus or a telephoto lens, they're just too quick. So what I tend to do, which I'll show shortly, is I pre-focus on something at a distance where I'm hoping the dragonfly might, might fly into that plane, that area, um, and then keep snapping away on continuous shoot. So as I say, I'll take absolutely loads of photographs. Um, I'll have a break periodically um, and, and protect the ones I'm going to keep or review and, and then delete the others to free the card space up. Um, and that won't slow the, the speed of the card processing time down. So um, I'll just set up and give it a go and we'll see how we get on to and get some um, dragonflies in flight. So what I'm aiming to do is to get a dragonfly in flight. Now the best way I find is to pre-focus manually. Sometimes I do it on my hand, the distance, or maybe on a piece of wood on the floor. Get a set distance and then as the dragonflies around you and towards you, you just go on continuous shoot and move towards the dragonfly and then hopefully you'll get a plane of focus where you'll get a decent image. One thing I've found with um, wildlife photography, you tend to wear camouflage gear. I do find that dragonflies like the brighter colours and are quite inquisitive. Um, so as I say, manual focus on a certain distance, continuous shoot, moving towards and see what you get at the end of the day. There's lots of deleters that you have to get rid of, but you get a few that you can keep. So let's give it a go. This isn't some weird hip hop dance, it's just me focusing on my hand for that shot. And you can see me here following the dragonfly, moving towards it with the camera whilst continually shooting. And a little bit of slow motion there, you can see the dragonfly coming from the bottom right as I'm moving towards it. It gets a bit twitchy and bangs back round again, but uh, they get used to it after time. I hope that gave you a bit of a feel of what the little nature reserve is like and a bit of an intro into my technique. Um, as I've explained, there's a lot of just keeping your finger on the button and moving to and fro and taking taking loads of photographs. Um, you now know about keepers and deleters. I'm just going to show you a series of images now which I class as the deleters. Um, there's just the angles wrong, or it's just maybe off composition. Um, you, you photograph the backside flying away from you. Obviously, it's not called the backside, whatever the technical uh, name is. Um, that's what you're photographing when it's going the wrong way and you want it coming towards you. So have a look at these images. Um, you will see after that then, I will move on to the jetty. I, I sit down on the jetty because observing the dragonflies, I realised that they were, they were flying in front of me and going up and down. So then what I did, I got them with the camera coming that way towards me, um, which uh, is the majority of the, the decent images I get. So have a look at this nest section um, and uh, I hope you enjoy that bit too. This first image, uh, you're a bit too up beneath the dragon flying at an angle uh, and it's up against the sky which uh, doesn't show much detail. Obviously this one's just too bottom right composition. It's a good in focus shot of the side. This one would have been a cracker if it had been coming towards me, but unfortunately you've got its backside and it's flying away from me. So that's a, a no-go, a deleter. This one here, too much of an angle down and you've got the water in the background again washing out the image a little bit. And this one here, it would have been a good one, banking round, but it's going the wrong way unfortunately. And then this one, well obviously it's just gone off camera shot so you've got no composition at all, although it looks like it would have been a, a good in focus image. So it's just come up along here, you probably didn't get it on the shot, but it's, it keeps coming closer. Here we go. I don't know whether the camera caught that, but it came literally to there. And what I tend to do is take a break, review them, protect the images I don't want to delete. And if you fill your card up, which is easy to do, you can delete once you don't want That came very close. 
So I'm focusing on something a bit nearer now because it's coming quite close, trying to get a bigger uh, composition. Rule number one, bring your spare batteries, I've forgotten mine so I'm going to turn time now. I hope you do realise I wasn't literally crying and having a tantrum. Um, I swore off camera, forgetting your battery is just, it's a nightmare, your spare batteries. You can you can turn up somewhere for a whole day, driven an hour and a half to get there, you open your bag and you've got one battery. Um, you just have to end up slapping yourself in the face. Um, what I'll do is just show you the image. When I was leaning across the jetty, um, I saw what's called a, um, I think it's a common data. It's a bit bit reddish in colour. And I just leaned across the jetty and uh, managed to just quickly snap the following image. These darters are a bit twitchier than hawkers and tend to get spooked and fly off when you just get near them. Okay, so just the next section is just a series of photographs which will show you the view I'm getting from the camera when the dragonfly is flying towards me um, and I'm snapping away. So you'll see, I'll mark on there which are obvious deleters because the further away it is, it's out of focus. As it gradually flies towards you, it's becoming in focus until you get maybe that one keeper where it hits a plane of where you've manually focused, as I've explained on the video. Um, this section, um, dragonflies, they always remind me of X-Wings out of Star Wars. Anyone who knows me for years knows I've always been into it. Um, it's sad I know, I'm 50, I thought I would have grown out of it, I haven't, um, my son Tom's into it now so I, no doubt I'll be into it until uh, I'm six feet under. So the exciting bit with this is I've put some X-Wing sound effects on it, enjoy. How thrilling was that? It was like being at the movies. No, I must say, I've grown out of Star Wars. Right, the next bit is I'm going to put some images up of the keepers, basically. Um, you'll see from a lot of the images I take, particularly this reserve, is you've got the, the, the background of the reeds. It's all, it's all green. It's a wash with green. And unfortunately, that can sort of um, wash out the, the dragonfly because they, they've got green colours in it as well. Um, so you'll see on the following images of keepers, um, I keep them either because the, the dragonfly is in focus side on, front on, or maybe it's coming in towards you and you'll see that the jet is in the background so you get a, a clean image of the dragonfly and the jetty sort of lead you into the image as well. The closer ones with the face, with all the green in the background, what I do, I post-process it afterwards and, and layer it in Photoshop. And what I do is the green, the reeds in the background, I drop the the green, um, the saturation, so it becomes a, a, a lot lighter. And then the actual colour of the dragonfly pops out. So if you watch the following images, I think uh, you, you'll see what I mean by that. So um, enjoy. Okay, so that's it. You're probably thinking, thank God for that. Um, it's over. Uh, that's my video on my technique of photographing dragonflies in flight. Um, so I hope you got something from it in um, all honesty and uh, seriousness. 
Now, what I'm going to do is just show you one final image out of everything I took. This is my favourite image. Um, it's it's front on with the face on a slight angle, um, so you can see the, the, the sort of the length of the dragonfly. It's gradually getting blurred. You can see the wings, and, and they're, they're a bit blurred in motion. Then the background um, has, has come out crack on. Really, it's not just green reeds um the, the, the what we call the the the, the bokeh or the the blurriness in the back it, it, it just works a tree so this is my favorite image that's going to follow what i've done at the end i've scanned the leaflet or pamphlet from um the reserve so if you want to pause it and read about it and then if you want to pop down anytime um, you can make that decision if you're local to york